that light off me. Get that light off me. Get that light off me. Okay. So you can shine a light in my face, but I can't shine a light yeah. in your face? Is that how it works, officer? Excuse me? Is that how it works? You can shine a light in my face, and I can't shine a light in your face? I'm going to tell you to get that What light are you going to tell me? Okay. Get that light off me first, then. Why can you? Okay. Okay. My country is a thing, sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims' pride, from every mountainside. I recognize you from that car. I knew exactly what you were coming up here for. Hence why I wasn't aggressive towards you. But I'll tell you what, had you come up to me and I didn't know you or recognize you, and you're flashing the light, sure, I'll tell you right now, it, it would have got up. You don't walk up to a cop, shining light. Can I ask you, but are you guys like trained to shine a light in people's Absolutely faces? Absolutely we are. Absolutely. To just keep it on their face for like five minutes see so this during right the here? conversation? See that? I'm feeling straight off. Yeah. Cross the border? Time to get an honest job. Why don't you get a real job, man? I'm not crossing a border. This is the United States. I'm just driving around California. Why'd you just waste 20 minutes of my time? What border is this? So there's a border to go from San Diego to Los Angeles? Hey, can you tell me what border I crossed? In a border patrol checkpoint, the person's rights doesn't matter here. Oh, my rights don't apply here? They don't apply here at a truck. So I have no rights at a checkpoint. You do not have rights. I can print it out for you if you want to see it. Go ahead and print it out. Fine. I do not know that. But I can't see inside that window and the way you're behaving. And you're acting in a very... You know what? Manner. I'm behaving like somebody who believes that this is a free country and doesn't appreciate this stinking police state where I have to be stopped in the middle of the road to tell you the answer to a question. I just want to go free on my way. Tell me when I'm free to go. If you're detaining me, then tell me why you're detaining me. There's no suspicion here. I want to go on my way. I'm being illegally detained. According to the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution, which is the highest law in this country. The Constitution, this checkpoint's already been upheld by the Supreme Court of the United States. That's why I stopped here, because this checkpoint has been upheld by the Supreme Court of the United States. So basically, what's going on here is you're refusing to cooperate with the inspection. You're I'm, al I'm allowed to be stopped here, but my car is not allowed to be inspected without a warrant or probable cause. And you have no probable cause or a warrant. I've stopped here, but I will not allow you to search my vehicle without a warrant. I can't allow you to search my vehicle without a warrant. What's that? Let me tell you how you're, that, that's going to be. You're, you're feeling that you've got no penalty coming up here, okay? And I'm about to explain to you the penalty, okay? You are not free to go until the inspection is complete, okay? We have referred you to the secondary inspection area and you are refusing to move your vehicle. Thereby, you are blocking the lane of travel on the interstate. New Mexico State Police will cite you and they are coming. You know what? I want to go free on my way. I'm not going to pull into secondary because I want to go on my way and you don't have the right to send me to secondary because I don't have any reason to be suspected and I want to go on my way. You have no probable cause. I'm saying you don't have probable cause here, and so I, I want to go on my way. Cause, sir, I just you can't send me to secondary without probable cause. Yes, I can. I can send you to secondary for me, with mere suspicion. You have no reason to suspect me of violating immigration. Sir, I told you. I told you that I've crossed no international border. Negative, sir. We you, don't need you to cross. I'm in the United States. States. I want to travel freely in the United States. I've stopped as the law requires me to do, and now I want to go on my way. 
Sir, would you cooperate with the inspection? You will be allowed to depart and thereby continue your... I want to go free on my way. Well, you can't, sir. We're detaining you. What? What suspicion are you detaining me on? We're detaining you on mere suspicion of illegal activity, which is... All what illegal activity do you spe suspect me of, well, sir? Right now, you're interfering in a federal investigation. This is... Uh, listen, uh, Agent Hutchison, what have I done to make you suspect me of illegal activity? Your lack of cooperation in and of itself. I don't want to cooperate because I want to go free on my way. I have cooperated by stopping here. By stopping, I've cooperated with the, the checkpoint. I stopped and I obeyed the law, and now because I am suspicionless, I want to go free on my way because I am a U.S. citizen, and the Fourth Amendment says that I have the right to be secure in my person and property and not to be searched without a warrant or without some kind of probable cause. What activity are you suspecting me of? Sir, I have no idea. What Ill so you have no idea what you suspect me of, but you just somehow suspect me of illegal activity? That's not probable cause. You just said that you have no idea what you suspect me of. But you have some ID. I want to tell me when I can go on my way. you to present valid ID while operating a motor vehicle to any peace officer. We are peace officers. Let me know when I'm free to go on my way. So you're refusing to present an ID card while driving? A That's not what I said. I said I want to go on my way. Sir, do you have a valid driver's license? Just let me know when I can go. Well, you're not free to go, sir. Sir, right now you're in violation of the law. Because you refuse to present a valid ID this, card. You are in violation of the law by sending me to secondary without suspicion. Well, and you, Right now, sir, I'm pretty sure you're a terrorist. You're pretty sure I'm a terrorist because I believe in the United States Constitution? Well, yes, sir. I, I think you're attempting to use the law to yourself to smuggle some type of contraband through our checkpoint. And until we prove that you're not... You know what? I've already said that I'm on my way to work and that I've crossed no international border. Well... That's very nice, sir, but that's not the question we asked you, is it? Well, just let me know when I'm free to go on my way. Do you have some identification? Sir, you're not permitted to leave until after inspection. We've referred you to the secondary inspection area. Uh, right. Sir, you're detained. You are not free to go. If you attempt to leave the checkpoint, that is, in fact... Your I'm not going to leave until you tell me that I'm free to go, and I'm waiting to hear that I'm free to go. You are not free to go. Our superiors feel that... Uh, we got better things to do than to play this game with you, sir. So we've been ordered to uh, allow you to depart the checkpoint. Okay? okay, so am I free to go? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay. All right, if these guys will uh, get out from in front of my car, maybe I can drive out of here since I'm free to go. I was being filmed on my way in. I saw the cameras filming me, and so I'm filming you, Officer Martinez. Okay, and now I'd like to go on my way, Agent Martinez. So we don't know what you're doing with that. That's what This is a video camera. I'm taping exactly. you with it, uh, Agent Martinez. And I saw the camera taping me on the end. What the, What are you doing with that? That's not our camera. I don't know whose it is, but somebody was taping me, and 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 now I'm taping you. So and I there's police cameras all over Arizona, taping me every time I drive down the street. I want to go on my way. I've been told that I was free to go, yet I have an agent standing in front of my car. Let me know when I'm free to go. Camera well, away from me. Sir, please put the camera Look, I did not do anything. I was just sitting here you looking for directions, and now you're coming to me and asking me what business I'm in. It doesn't matter what I do for a living. And I want to identify you. I match a description of someone who was assaulted in an assault. You know, I say you're making stuff up because you've come over here and I'm looking at directions and you're just mad because I won't tell you what I do for a living. It's none of your business what I do for a living. Okay, I'm minding my own business. Look, here's the rental car contract. Put the camera away. Why do I have to put the camera away? You got your camera in the back of your squad car. Hey, Stephen, what's your birthday? That's my business. I have the right to remain silent. Have you ever read the Constitution? You know, I want to know what happened to freedom in America anyway. Didn't I have the right to remain silent and I have to answer all these questions to a bunch of police when I'm just looking at directions? I told her what I was doing. I said I'm trying to find directions to my destination. What? If you're under arrest, do you have a right to remain silent? I'm not under arrest. I have the right to remain silent whether I'm under arrest or not. Do you know what the Fifth Amendment says? Do you, don't you have to study that to be a police officer? Don't you have to understand the laws of America? And to understand that I don't have to answer any questions to any police officer? And that's the Fifth Amendment interpreted by the Supreme Court of the United States. And I was just sitting here looking at my directions trying to figure out where to go. She came up and asked what I do for a living.
I don't see why that's her business. Maybe if we were in communist Russia or something, I have to go around showing. Right. So. Stephen, your papers back. I'm saying what I do for a living, but I'm just sitting here trying to figure out where to go in the morning and trying to find a hotel on Microsoft Streets and Trips. Can you explain that to me? Can you explain to me why she took away my rental car contracts, putting me through the, the, uh, the ringer here? I guess not. I guess you guys don't have to answer any questions, but I do. Roll down the window a little farther. No, I'm not going to roll down the window any farther. That's how far I rolled it down. Hey, excuse me, sir. What, what kind of a gun is that that you got there? Am I being filmed right now? Yeah, you are. Okay. What, what, what kind of gun is that that you're holding? Why are you filming? I want to know why you think that's necessary to carry that kind of a weapon to walk up to people's cars in the airport. I don't have to answer your questions. It's none of your business. It's none of my business. Don't you work for me since I'm a citizen of Phoenix no, and the United me. States? I work for a sergeant. You want to talk to my sergeant? Call okay, me. doesn't your sergeant work for me? Isn't he a servant of the people? I'm not going to have to discuss Doesn't your car say to protect and to serve and you're walking around with a machine gun harassing people? Huh? How would you feel if somebody walked up to your car with a machine gun? Huh? You don't want to answer me? Oh, man, you're pointing at people telling them what to do, huh, with a machine gun. Hey, excuse me, what kind of gun did he say that is? An AR. An AR? Yeah. All right, thanks. Hey, he wouldn't, he wouldn't tell me. Oh. Because I wasn't, I wasn't admiring it. Oh. So, I was telling him he shouldn't be pointing it in people's cars. Oh, he probably should